Okay, this is my compost pile from last year. Up there I've got what's going to be next year's compost pile. Um, I used to have them separated using, but they're just kind of too small. Um, I've actually got another one that's still set up down by the garden. But what I'm getting ready to show you is probably one of the best tricks you will ever learn how to do. And I've got a video I'll link to above in the information page on how to make a compost tea brewer. It's pretty easy to do. All you really need is a 55 gallon drum, a, uh, a large fish tank, aerator with some bubble rocks. And this right here is a paint strainer that fits in a five gallon bucket. So the first thing I gotta do is I gotta fill this up and I'm probably not gonna be able to do this on camera. So let me just bring you back when I've got it done. So when I'm done, this is basically what I've got. There's probably about two pounds of compost in this. Now we're gonna walk up to where my tea barrel is at. You have never seen plants grow the way they grow when you water them with compost tea, trust me. It is crazy. Um, again, I'll link to the video above how to make this. It's a 55 gallon drum. Like I said, it's got a fish tank aerator on it. The lines go down there. There's actually two stones. Um, this, this pipe that goes through this and extends through the other side, I basically just cut, it's a half inch or might be three quarter inch PVC. That is basically how I drape this in. And then I've got an extension cord that runs over to the house with some project junk I still need to pick up. But let me go ahead and get this tied up and I'll show you what I'm getting ready to do. Um, I'm basically using my cell phone to record this, so I have to hold it with one hand, but I need both hands. I'm going to tie this bag around that PVC pipe and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so as you can see, I basically just tied that on there with a slip knot, so that keeps the bag in suspension close to the top of the barrel. The next thing you're going to do is just plug your extension cord in or plug your filter in. And again, I'm sorry. And you can see now that this is being aerated. So in exactly 24 hours, I will have 55 gallons of straight compost tea. That is way too strong to put on your plants. You have to mix that basically 1 to 20 so you use one part of compost tea to 20 parts water as an example if you were going to use uh, a gallon of your compost tea you would mix that with 20 gallons of water to dilute it then you can either spray it directly on your plants on the leaves or you can pour it so that it gets down to the roots i generally pour it on my plants all my fruit trees all my garden plants they absolutely love this stuff. Um, compost tea diluted is about $30 a gallon on Amazon Prime. This, this water that's in this barrel, I leave this barrel out here year round, fills up with rainwater, doesn't cost me anything but time to make this. I'll bring you back tomorrow when I show you how I actually use this. Um, so I'm going to let this Go ahead and brew with the air bubbles for 24 hours. And I'll go ahead and upload this video and then tomorrow I'll show you how I actually dilute it and then use it on the plant. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Share this video if you think, think anybody else will find it useful. And uh, thanks for watching.